Over the last few years, smartwatches have only been getting more and more expensive as time goes on. And I think with that, they've also become really boring as well. And with prices for the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro being at $450 and the Apple Watch Ultra being at an insane $800, you might be thinking to yourself, I just want a smartwatch that looks good, tells me the time, and it won't cost me my kidney to buy it. And that's where this comes in. This is the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier. And it's been my daily watch for a few years now, and I don't plan on replacing it anytime soon. For the specs, it's a 46 millimeter case with a 1.3 inch Super AMOLED display with Gorilla Glass SR Plus, a dual core processor at one gigahertz, and it comes with four gigabytes of storage, which is plenty for a smartwatch. With military grade durability and IP68 water and dust resistance, you can take this thing anywhere without worrying about it. It's also got a bunch of useful features for Samsung Pay, a heart rate monitor, and a really in-depth fitness and health tracking app where you can keep an eye on your steps, calories, water, and caffeine intake, your sleeping, and it'll even remind you to get up from your desk every now and then to do some stretches. By far, my favorite aspect of the S3 Frontier is the customization that it gives you. There are so many settings to tweak to your liking, and you can choose between literally thousands and thousands of different watch faces. Almost every day I find a new watch face to use, and I love having those options to change the entire look of the watch. And there's also a ton of different bands you can buy for this. Just on Amazon, there's a whole selection of them for you to choose from. You can completely change this watch from a sporty fitness look to a classic luxury watch in a few seconds just by changing the bands in the watch face. So let's look at an overview of the Gear S3 Frontier and you can decide if this is the right fit for you. When it comes to design, Samsung nails it almost every time and that's definitely the case here. I really like this classic analog stainless steel watch style that they went with rather than that generic plastic silicone look that you see a lot. I've had a few people ask me what type of watch this is and they're surprised when I tell them Samsung. Instead of something like Invicta, Belova, or Timex as if I could actually afford those. <laughs> it's easily mistaken for a normal analog watch and I love it. As far as actually using it, it has a good weight to it and even though I have a smaller wrist, I think it fits great. When I turn my wrist, it doesn't feel like I'm swinging like a five pound dumbbell around or anything, but I do realize it's there. It does have a weight. Another great feature with S3 Frontier is this little rotating bezel that you use and you use that to move through menus and widgets. It has these clicks to it when you turn the dial that are so satisfying, I can't explain it. I even find myself just messing with it whenever I'm bored. I think it's an awesome design feature. Everything else is controlled with these two buttons on the side, or you can use the touchscreen, which is pretty responsive. For design, I'm giving this an eight out of 10. It looks great, it fits great, it's high quality, and I don't think it'll ever go out of style. So performance is one aspect of the S3 Frontier that is a little disappointing. Every now and then, if you have a few apps open in the background, too many widgets on the home screen, or even if you just do things a bit too fast, you really start to see where this watch lacks memory, processing power, or both. Some things just take way too long to do, and sometimes you'll be waiting like five seconds to open an app or swipe to the next widget. I know five seconds is really nothing, but it does show its age when stuff like that happens. My solution to this has been to back up my data and then factory reset the watch about every month or so. It doesn't take long to do and it fixes the lagging for a bit, but that really shouldn't be happening in the first place. The battery life is okay. Obviously it's depending on your settings. I always have mine connected to my phone with Bluetooth, adaptive brightness on, and the always on display. I can say it always gets me through a full day no matter what, but I had gotten used to only charging it every two to three days. Now it's about every night I have to plug it in. 
So in performance, I gotta go with the six out of 10. The watch is old and I understand it's not gonna be as fast as it was when it was new, but having to switch my phone to do something because my watch has been stuck on the loading screen for 10 seconds is kind of annoying. However, if you're like most people and you only use your smartwatch for really simple things and not very often, then it shouldn't be that much of an issue. So I got this watch when it was still fairly new in 2018 and I paid about $200 for it, which I thought was a good deal at the time. And when they came out, I know that they were also $400 like the new Watch 5 Pro, but I'm really not sure what you're getting on that watch that isn't already on the S3 Frontier, except that, yeah, it's going to be a little bit faster and have a new operating system, but it seems like that's all you're getting for a lot of money. I mean, they both tell the time and have some simple apps. I don't really see much room for improvement. The good thing is that the watch right now goes for anywhere between $80 to $100, which is definitely a steal in my opinion. And it's only going to keep getting cheaper as time goes on, so I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 for price. Obviously, it's not going to be quite as good as the new ones, but it's pretty close and you will be saving hundreds of dollars. So that was the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier. Overall, I feel like an 8 out of 10 is a fair score. Yeah, the battery life isn't amazing. Yeah, it lags every now and then, but those negatives are really outweighed by the positives. It is a very nice, classy looking watch that you can style however you want. And in general, it gets the job done for me. It does exactly what I need it to and lasts me throughout the day, no problem. If you want a smartwatch that won't break the bank, but still looks like you did, I can pretty confidently say that the S3 Frontier is a solid choice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to see more content like this, you can hit the like button and the subscribe button down below and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought. Peace.